Welcome to Antalya, Turkey, for the 19th FITA Golden Arrow European Archery Grand Prix and the second series of the World Cup 2006 event. It's a glorious day in this coastal holiday resort on the Mediterranean. As the president of FITA, I am very happy uh, for our archers' interest in this uh, nice tournament because, uh, as you know, this is uh, one of the important steps of our new uh, circuit, World Cup. Forty-five nations are here with their uh, really high-level uh, archers. This is a, a very good feeling for me because I was the president of the Turkish Archery Federation for many years. And I, I spent a lot of time uh, for this field. As you know, this is the permanent field for, for only archery sports. As the FITA management, we believe that uh, archery will be one of the essential sports in the Olympic program because, because archery is a really uh, nice traditional sport a natural sport, our expectation is really very high. <laughs> this is the 19th competition. It's different. This is a World Cup. It's not just a golden arrow this year. Antalya is really a historical city because of its culture and its tourism. Aside from the field this year, the teams can go and explore the city. FITA is working hard to bring new things and new systems to the competition. Evolving archery, and as you can see here, things that haven't been done before are now happening. We think this is better than the past. The President and the Organising Committee welcome everyone to Antalya and we wish them all luck. Ben Federasyon Başkanı olarak, Organizasyon Komitesi olarak hepimiz... But before we start with the final matches, which are part of an individual competition, let's have a look at a quick summary of the European Grand Prix duels, which are a team competition. A lot of stars, tense battles and incredible emotions. Enjoy the show. China shoots and scores 10 points. It's next. 10. Nine points. Eight. Ten points for Korea. Ten X. Tied score, but Korea has shot one arrow less. Next arrow is the Nine points. And now three arrows to go. These are the final three arrows of this gold medal match. China. Nine.
China. Nine or ten, can't see it from here, it's behind another. Final arrow, eight points. And so China unofficially with 213 points on the board. Final three arrows, the gold medal match, and that is nine points just out of the ten. Ten points to clinch the gold medal with one arrow. Korea maintaining their domination of the world with nine points and a big victory over the People's Republic of China for the gold medal final. Here at the Golden Arrow, Medexan Turkish Golden Arrow event. Ten points. Nine. Denmark now with four arrows. Ten. X. Final three arrows for the gold medal. X. Ten points. X, 10 points. Nine points. Final score for Netherlands unofficially, 225 points. X. Two arrows to go for that. Ten. Final arrow. Six points will win. Nine points in Denmark wins the gold medal. Netherlands silver. Larry Godfrey shoots and scores eight points for Great Britain. Seven points. Tough break for the British team, but they still have four arrows to go. Now Will shoots and scores nine points. Nine points for Mr. Yamamoto. Mr. Kanamura shoots and scores eight points. Mori, the winners of ten. Ten points for Japan. Each team with three arrows to go. Japan with a three-point lead. Great Britain heading to the line. Simon Terry, nine points. Final arrow for Great Britain. Al Wills, nine points. Will it be enough to hold off Team Japan? 214 points on the board for Great Britain. Roshi Yamamoto, nine points. Sadoshi Kanamura, nine points. Nearly a ten. It's two millimeters out. She Moria. Moria san, nine and victory for Japan. Japan gold medalist.
Great Britain. The Compound Individual Women's Bronze Final. Russian Federation's Okyabrina Bolotova is playing Nicola Simpson from the UK. The Russian in target one was silver medalist in Antalya last year. After the first and second end, both players are level pegging at 54 points. We pick up the match at the third end with Nicola to start. Ten. And what a good shot. It's a bullseye and 10 points. Can Okyabrina level that score? Nine, nine. Oh, it's the first chink in the score. Only a nine. A one Can point Nicola capitalise on her lead? Ten. Yes, another 10x. Nicola in fine form. Okibrina desperately needs a 10. Oh, eight, it's eight. only an eight. Dropping behind now. So can Nicola keep up her lead? Ten. And yes, it's another 10. So Nicola has a run of three tens, top score of 30 in this, the third end. The last arrow of this end for Okibrina. And a nine. So Nicola jumps into the lead with 84 overall to so Okyabrina's 80. The archers take their points. Can Nicola maintain her lead in this fourth and final end? Okibrina to start. She's got a steep climb to win. That's ten. ten. Very, ten. very promising. Ten Nicola now. Also a 10. That keeps Nicola in with a chance. Okibrina concentrating. Taking a time. It pays off at X. A strong 10 once again. Now over to Nicola. Fierce concentration. Eight points. And it's only an eight. That's eight disappointing for a penultimate arrow, 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 but she's still ahead on points. Akibrina from Russia now, her last arrow. Ten and it's a 10, 10x. Ten what a magnificent last end for her. Three tens in a row. Final arrow for Nicholas so it's the last shot of the match now. Nicola to shoot. And it's a 10. That's another 10. Nicola Simpson is victorious. So, the UK's Nicola Simpson is the winner of the Women's Compound Bronze Medal with a final score of 112 out of a possible 120. Russia's Okyabrina Bolotova has just two points less with 110. Compound Women's Gold Medal match followed by the Compound Men's Bronze Medal match.
very calm, very surprised, um, just focused on the Ladies target and, and put the shots in. And I think having three children and what have you, it's, it's made you have to be calm. So. Two Russians are competing in the compound women's gold. In target one is the number one seed, Sofia Gucharova. She's playing Anna Katzensteva, who is seeded number six. A promising match then, and you join us for the second end. The score so far, Anna 27, Sofia in the lead with 28. So the person with the lower score, Anna, starts off this second end. That's a nine. That's her fourth nine. She shot three in a row for the first end. Now, Sophia, can she maintain her lead? <laughs> and it's a 10, pushing her two points ahead of Anna now. Sophia has a stunning track record, a gold in Madrid, a silver in Bulgaria, and a string of bronzes to her name. Anna's a shoot. That's great. Anna, an X, 10 points there. Sophia needs to watch out. She needs to take her time and aim carefully. Nine Just a nine. So Anna's a shoot, the last arrow of this end. And it's a 10 for Anna. Her score up to now 56 points. It is a close run thing. Will Sophia stay in the lead? Ten. Ten. Yes, a 10. At the close of the second end, Sophia 57 points, Anna 56. In the third end, Sophia gained another point lead over Anna to bring the score to 86 over Anna's 84. Now we come to the final end. Anna took gold at the Antalya European Grand Prix last year. Could she shoot ahead here to win again? And the first arrow, an X, X, a 10, X. a great start. Sophia now, will she keep up the impetus? Nine Not quite. Points. A nine. Anna starting to gain ground. One point separating these two archers. Two arrows to go. Anna needs to keep level-headed here. Great stuff. Another ten for Anna. Sophia to shoot now. She is made of stern stuff. That is another 10. Anna has to fight her ground hard now. Here she goes. Final arrow, remember? 10. It is a 10. Final arrow. Sophia now to round off the frame. What will she do? Ten ten will win. Will win. It's, it's a 10. ten. And what a close match. If Anna Katzenseva had done better than three nines in her first end, she could have won. That would have meant she could have won a second World Cup title in a row. She caught up magnificently, but not enough to beat Safaya Goncharova. Safaya is the star of the two Russian Federation players. The score, Safaya 115, Anna only one point behind with 114.
that win places Sofia Goncharova in World Cup standings with two events to go in the World Cup before the finals. I live in Siberia, near Lake Baikal. I've had a long trip for a long time. And now that I have won, I'm happy to go home. Welcome now to the men's compound bronze. It's El Salvador against Switzerland as Jorge Jimenez meets the Swiss Patrizia Hoffer. Hoffer in target two. Hoffer already has a bronze from the World Indoors final in 2003. Hoffer has a two point lead here after the first end with 28 points. Jimenez at 26. So it's Jimenez who starts. His country, by the way, will be hosting the third series of the World Cup. Will he catch up on Hoffer's lead? And that's it looks good. It is a 10. Hoffer could be outdone. No chance. It's a 10. Jimenez now, second arrow in the second end. And it's a nine. nine Hoffer doing well so far. Ten. ten. That's another ten for so Hoffer. Jimenez now starting to struggle. Shoots now a bit in hope, really. Nine, nine points. points. Only a nine. Mr. Jimenez denied and tends by, by just a couple, a couple of millimeters, millimeters in two of those shots. shots. Very close. Offer again now. Last arrow of this end. Ten, ten, ten. ten, ten. ten. And that is a ten. Three tens in a row. 58 of a possible 60 points and a four-point lead unofficially. For so at the halfway mark, Jimenez has dropped back even further with 54, while Hoffer has surged ahead with 58. We're at the halfway mark in this 12 arrow match. During the third end, Hoffer managed to increase his lead by another point. The score, as we start the final end, is now Jimenez 82, Hoffer a cool 87. Jimenez to start. He must be losing confident, but he manages not to let it show. Ten. Ten. Good for him. It's a ten. The best he can hope for. Will Hoffa lose his enormous lead? Concentration now. Nine. It's a nine. So he's lowered his lead by a jot. Two arrows to go. Jimenez now at the penultimate arrow. Ten. Ten. Just what he needs. Could he be catching up with Hoffer? Hoffer to shoot. Ten points. Also a ten. Final. Now back to Jimenez for the last arrow. What is the best he can hope for here? Here he comes. Ten, ten, ten. ten. That's three tens in a row. A great final end. Hoffer now. A little bit nervous, maybe. And with eight. eight Only an eight. Well, Jimenez shot, shot magnificently in that fourth end and caught up some of his lost points, but it wasn't enough to close the gap. Final score, Jorge Jimenez of El Salvador, 112. The winner, Patricio Hoffer, with 114. In the current World Cup rankings for FIDA, the World Cup totals right now have dominant in France in first place right now. But as a result of him winning the bronze medal, he is now tied for first place in the World Cup event. I'm glad because I came here and now I gained third place. At this moment, I would like to thank all the people who supported me and who are rooting for me. So next is El Salvador. And there again, I hope to do better. We now come to the men's compound gold medal. Peter Elzinger playing for the Netherlands. Roberto dos Santos for Brazil. 
To highly talented archers, the first three ends are real inspiration. In the first end, both shot three solid tens each. In the second end, Elzinger dropped a point, shooting a nine in his third arrow. Then the third end, each player shot two tens and a nine. Dos Santos just leading still with 89 to 88. So he ends at the fourth and final end. If you don't bite your nails yet, now might be a good time to start. Peter Elzinger from the Netherlands off first. And what a shot, an X, 10 points. Dos Santos was leading, so can he keep it up? Oh, oh dear, a nine. That means the score is even. Back to the Netherlands now. Elzinger can feel the tension mounting. He has to control himself. Will he? And yes, he did. That's a 10. Dos Santos now. A 10. Such a close match. Last arrow now for Elzinger, the final shot. Nine. Slight disappointment there, a nine. Last shot of the match, perhaps. Dos Santos takes aim, thinking hard. Nine. Nine. A bit too hard, it's a nine. It's a tie. Elzinger and Dos Santos both with 117 points, so the match is not over yet. What a great pair they make. Almost flawless shooting. All tens and a few nines. Nothing lower. So, it'll be a tie break. So it's Dos Santos to start. Both men have to control their nerves as the pressure mounts. All hinges on this. And it's a 10. So both players are faced with a second shootout. The first time in this series. Such high standards here. Now Elzinger has to make a supreme effort or he could lose the match. 10. Good heavens. Both players are now faced with a second shootout, the first time in this series. Such high standards. Dos Santos start again. Brazil can be duly proud of his performance. And he just has to score high. So here is Dos Santos. Second shootout here. And it's a 10. No leeway for Elzinger. Anything less than a 10 and it's the end. What must he be thinking? Ten. Oh, and it's a 10 again. How exciting. Elzinger and Dos Santos are now neck and neck. Unbelievable. Third arrow shoot off now. So Dos Santos again, can he keep up the pace? A nine, could he be flagging? Elzinger has now a slightly easier task, this could ease the pressure for him. Unbelievable, a nine for Elzinger. At this stage of the match, the judges take the measurements of the arrowhead from the centre of the target. The only deciding factor. Just to recap, the score stands at 117 out of a possible 120 for both players. Excellent shooting. The suspense is palpable. Let's look at 
Mr. Dasso, so it's a pretty good chance that he won this thing. The judges make very, very careful measurements here. It all hinges on that tape measure. And the judges have confirmed that the winner by just two millimeters is Roberto dos Santos of Brazil. So after such a fine battle, Peter Elzinger of the Netherlands is in second place. A breathtaking spectacle. What a match. Look at those scores, 117 for both archers. Two millimeters in it at the end. When I shot a nine, I think, oh, so uh, I, I lost. But Peter Elzinger shot a nine too, and I, I, I'm really sorry about the nine because I, I think I don't deserve to win with a nine. But this is the game, this is the game. Brazil! Vamos lá, Brazil, e a Copa do Mundo tá aí. Let's take a look at a couple of personalities from two generations of archers here in Antalya. The winner of the gold medal in the men's recurve in Porich, Jayanta Talukta from India. My father inspired me because he liked this game. Uh, when I win in Forex, uh, I think that uh, it's my beginning. And, and I think that uh, in Antalya also, I don't think that I, I can win in Antalya also, but I just think that I, can, I will do my best. I lost my confidence because in my technique check I have some mistakes for that for my in my anchor side and my left shoulder side. That's why I, I didn't uh, I can't do well this time. I'm trying to improve my game also and uh, I see from last two years my performance going up and I think then I can do better in future. My father told me that uh, don't try to win a medal. You just try to do your best. And now old hand Hiroshi Yamamoto from Japan, renowned for his calm, smiling performance. Uh, I didn't go to Porech because two weeks ago we had the final trials for the Asian Games in Japan. So this was the most important game for me. I will do my best every day, every day, and finally reach the gold medal in Beijing, the Asian Games. The most important thing is every day, training, day by day. But that training is not just for the gold medal. Maybe finally it might bring me the gold medal, but it's a kind of relaxation in my daily job. Shooting is a very happy time for me. We've reached the women's recurve gold medal. Competing are the top two seeds, China's Quan Zhailing, number one, and number two, Kim Yumi from Korea. The first end saw both women neck and neck with 27 points. Then in the second end, Quan started to overtake her Korean opponent, leading 54 to 52. We now join Quan and Kim as they start the third end. Kim with the lowest score to start the career. She takes aim. Will she catch up with her Chinese opponent? She trails by two, but that is nine points. It won't hurt. It's a nine. So Quan at the ready now. Nine points. So close. A nine for her too. Kim again. She needs to close this gap. Ten. 
Great, a 10. Things are looking up for her. Back to Kwan now. Can she keep her head? Ten. Yes, she can keep her head. A 10. Looking good. The last arrow of this end now for Kim. An 8. That is not what she had wished for. So things look a bit more promising now for Kwan. Or maybe eight not, points. actually, that's an eight for her too. And so with three arrows. But as we reach the last arrow, the score is eighty-one to one, with Kim straggling two points behind at seventy-nine. We'll start for the final end. We'd like to thank the following FIFA World Cup sponsors, including Medexan System, title sponsor, the qualifying events and providers of television graphics, and the website for the Archery World Cup. Kia Motors, together we have the power to surprise. Turkish Airlines, the official FIDA airline. Swiss timing, event timing for all. Okay, now we're into the deciding end, the fourth end. Kim with the lower score to start. She'll have to go into overdrive to catch up. Ten. Well, maybe she has, a 10. Looks very hopeful. Come on now. And that's a 10, would you believe it? Back to Kim. She has to keep her mind strong if she's to stand a chance. Good shot. Another 10. Quite stealing herself now. Ten. That puts her in with a strong chance. Kim to shoot her last arrow. She mustn't lose her resolve at this stage now. That is a great shot. That's a ten. One doesn't need to try that hard, really. Nine will win. It's a nine. And it's a nine. That is the end of the match. And Quan Zhailing from China is the winner with a score of 110. Kim Yu Mi of Korea just one point behind with 109. She put up an excellent fight against her formidable opponent. What a close game that was. I am very happy and honored for China. I have a goal, but I must take it step by step in striving to reach it. Italy meets Bulgaria for the men's Rico bronze medal. Next, Italy's Michele Frangilli is ranked 12th. He meets 18th seed Bulgaria's Havor Vasilev Christoph. The match started well for Frangilli, who's won three straight tens in the first end, scoring 30 points to Christoph's 28. Frangilli won a gold medal in Sofia last year, and before that, more gold in New York, Finland, Cyprus, Germany, and in Antalya in the year 2000. So he looks to be in with a greater chance of a win. This is the second end, with Christoph in target two, shooting the first arrow. Mr. Christoph shooting first on target number two. He trails his opponent by two points. It's a nine. And that's a nine for the Bulgarian. Frangilli now, will he keep up his run of luck from the first end? Nine Not quite, a nine. Christoph must be cheered by that. Ten 
Oh, more than that, more than cheered. He has a 10 right on the bullseye. Frank Gilly not so confident now. Will he show it though? Maybe he is showing it. An eight. That must play on his mind. So can the Bulgarian make the most of his chance? Ten. Yes, a 10. Incredible. That's settling for now for Frank Gelly. Will he regain top form? Nine. At nine. Doesn't look like it. So the scores are now reversed at the end of that round with Christoph of Bulgaria in the lead by one point with 57. Rangili of Italy, 56. In the third end, Christoph managed to increase his lead over his opponents by another point, bringing his score to 84 against Frangilli's 82. It's rather David and Goliath now, as Frangilli, many times gold winner, is fighting to catch up with Christoph. This time, Frangilli, who is in second place, he starts the fourth and final end. And it is a rather tense time for him now. And it is a 10. Christoph has to keep his head to maintain his lead. And he does it. A straight 10. Greg Eddy must be feeling a little uneasy now as he close approaches, takes aim. It's a nine. His confidence is slipping. Now, however, it is a boost for Christoph, riding high at the moment. Ten. And it's a ten. Now, last arrow for Frank Gilly, who must be feeling all but lost inside. How will he end? A last great shot, a 10. Christoph is on a roll, final shot of the match. And it's a nine. In spite of a disappointing last arrow, Havor Vasilev Christoph of Bulgaria is the winner with 113 points to gain the men's recurve bronze medal. He beat Italy's Michele Frangilli, who scored 111. Frangilli made a great start, but seemed to go downhill after that. A wonderful game as the fortunes swung, and the winner was a less predictable Bulgarian. This is the third time that I shoot against him, and this time I did well. And this time I managed to win. We come now to the last match of what has been a fantastic series here in Antalya. Two players with a great following. The Korean Park Kying Mu, seeded number one against Japan's hugely popular and always smiling Hiroshi Yamamoto. In the first end, Park had a one point lead with 28 points to Yamamoto's 27. So it's Yamamoto to start in target two. Eight An eight. Yamamoto seems below par so far. Can Park keep up his lead? Ten X. He can keep his lead up, certainly. An excellent X. Ten points. Yamamoto now looking a little less relaxed. Very focused. Ten. Now that was worth taking the trouble. Ten points. Over to Park. 
He must be starting to feel good. Is Tonks luck turning? It does appear to be a 10 from here, but again... Yamamoto needs to try hard. Eight oh dear, another 8. Decidedly off colour in this game so far. Park, the final arrow of the second end. And that's a 10. So at the halfway the mark, halfway Park has a resounding 57, while the Yamamoto has only struggled to 52. That means he needs to catch up five points just to break even. In the third end, Park maintained his five point lead, finishing with a score of 86 to Yamamoto's 81. Yamamoto, Olympic medalist in 1984 and again in 2004. He'll start the fourth end. In this we ask ourselves, will he bounce back? He is looking less relaxed than usual. And nine That's a nine. Does not Clara's go well. Park shooting now. Nine. That's a nine too. Each archer with two arrows remaining. Yamamoto needs to give it his all to improve his score. Nine points. And yet again a nine. Not his best day. Park, however, in quite good form at the moment. Yep. Ten points. Proves it. That's another Final ten. This really now is last gasp for Yamamoto. The force does not seem to be with him today. That is nine really points. still not with him at all. That's nine points. Now Mr. Park, Park now looking very confident. His end shot. Five or better will win. It's a nine. And that's a nine. So Park Kyung Mo of Korea has a resounding victory over twice Olympic gold medalist Hiroshi Yamamoto. The score 114 to 108. And Park did deserve the win here. He beat Yamamoto in every one of the four ends. Let's hope Yamamoto is back to his usual top form soon. Competitors, we'd also like to remind you that immediately following the victory ceremony for the Benexon Archery World Cup and European Grand Prix event, the European Mediterranean Archery Award will be this is the first time against Yamamoto, he won all three previous times. So this is a new system, first time with a new system, and I'm very happy. Well that's all from the second series of the FITA Archery World Cup and European Grand Prix here in Italia, Turkey. We look forward to your company for the third series in San Salvador, starting on the 20th of June. Till then, from all of us here in Italia, goodbye. <laughs>